Hi friends, welcome back. I'm coming at you with another pop-up shop vlog. As you can probably tell, I am addicted to doing pop-up shops. It's going to be my third in the past month alone. As you can tell, I love meeting you all and selling in person and experimenting with different booth setups and all that fun stuff. I'm just going to keep doing them until I get tired of them, which hopefully is never. This pop-up's going to be another one here in Hoboken, New Jersey, but I'm going to be working with a different market brand. I've done a bunch here in Hoboken, but this one's a first working with Sin Art Shop, I believe they're called. I think it's just one seller who also works organizes little pop-up events around New Jersey. I'm very excited to be part of it. This one is very like feminist woman empowerment themed, which I am all about and my brand is all about. Very excited to be part of this one. I do have a lot prepared already. Today's actually the day before the pop-up. I don't have too much prep work to do, just some like final touches I want to add to things. I really want this vlog to be mainly the day of the pop-up shop vlog because I tend to not vlog <laughs> the day of the pop-up because either things go wrong and I end up leaving early, like in my last one here in Hoboken or I just get like super overwhelmed and excited with how the day is going and I just don't pick up the camera. I hope to take you along with me this time. Hopefully we will see. <laughs> and all these videos go up after the pop-up actually happens but if you want to show up at one of my upcoming pop-ups definitely follow me on Instagram. I always post there when my upcoming pop-ups and in-person events happen so you don't want to miss that so go follow. All right let me show you what I've got going on in terms of inventory and what needs to get done today. So we have these candles made from these tin jars that I got from Wood & Wick Co. They're actually now called Makesy and I love getting all of my materials from there, at least related to candles. I made all these a couple days ago. They've just been setting. I need to trim the wicks down a little bit more and just like perfect certain parts of these. Most of them are pretty perfect to be honest, <laughs> but anytime I see a little imperfection like at the corner of this one, I don't really like the, how the edges came out, so I might use a heat gun to fix that up. Fun fact, all of these dried florals are recycled. Like these are actually from roses that my boyfriend gave me at some point. These are from old tea bags. I also have a lot of molds over here. So these are what I use to make my mold candles. These are container candles and these, I think they're called mold candles. I don't don't know the official term um but they come out like this this is like half of a yin and yang sign and this one kind of got messed up because the wick is all the way at the edge so i'm going to need to remelt this but this side came out a little bit better with the wick being in the center i just need to trim the wick down a little bit the bottoms are not well <laughs> i'm going to need to remelt this one too actually just to fix that up here are the good ones giving a little bit of an update. It's now lunchtime and I finished a whole bunch of things that I want to get done so that's good. I have all of these straps for tote bags. These are the actual tote bags that I sewed up. I do have some pieces for 
patchwork tops or patchwork tanks. So I just need to serge these. It's basically just putting together four different pieces to make a top. So that should be really simple to do. And this is going to be a little time consuming. This is going to be a shirt top. Not sure if I'm actually going to make this, but if I do have time, I'll make that a little bit later. I feel like filling a clothing rack is definitely doable with what I have, in addition to everything that I had done for previous pop-ups and just like inventory that I've collected along the way. I did take a look at my candles one more time. I'm not too happy with a lot of them. I feel like I need to redo a lot of the molded candles because there are a lot of bubbles and craters and just like imperfections, and I just don't feel like that represents my brand really well. I think I may remelt a lot of those and remake them. I think I know what the issue was it's when i pour the wax into the silicone molds the wax is really hot and the molds are kind of cold-ish like the room temp so that creates a lot of air bubbles and spaces what i can do to fix that is heat up the molds before i actually pour the wax in i'm going to try that hopefully they come out better so after i eat lunch and go to this meeting that i have at work i'm going to try out some more candles and hopefully they come out a little bit better I just made one candle because I want to test out my theory. So I heated up the mold with a hairdryer <laughs> and I got it kind of hot and I also cooled down the wax a little bit before pouring. So hopefully once this um, hardens, I can take it out and see that there are no bubbles and then I will use that method to make a bunch more. But I don't want to make a lot using this method if it doesn't even work. So I'm just going to test out this one. I think I'll pop it out of the mold in a few hours. I know that's a little bit too early, but I just want to, you know, make sure that there are no bubbles and that I got the method down pat. So while I am waiting for this to settle, I'm going to finish up those other clothing items and tote bags just so I can have those done. I also tested out putting on a tag on one of the candles that came out pretty well. I think it's so cute. I think it looks awesome. I love how my name looks on the candle. I love that it looks very professional. The wick is holding the tag, which I think is pretty nice. I really love the color of this one too. I'm really happy this is the one that came out really good. stickers since i rebranded my old stickers don't make sense anymore because they say monica's diys i wanted new ones to put on all my packaging and my candles and things like that that say monica's brand so i ordered a small pack from vista print until i can find a more sustainable place to get stickers i just got a little roll they look good, they're good size. I also got a banner because if you saw in my last pop that I did in Hoboken, the banner said Monica's DIYs, which was inaccurate. Kept the same general design. I just added the different name, Monica's. I don't know how many of this whole thing in the frame. Okay, you can't see it. Well, it looks really good. It's just really unfortunate that I rebranded this late because I always knew I didn't want to call it Monica CIYs for the long term, 
but I didn't get around to doing this whole rebrand until recently. So I do have an old banner um, that says Monica's DIYs that I've been using and now I don't know what to use it for, what to do with it. It's kind of a waste and I hate doing that. Also, I was being so impatient and I took this out way, way too early, but it worked. There are no bubbles at all and it's mostly hardened, so I feel like that did the trick, just like blow drying the little silicone mold. I got these off of Etsy. I will try to link below the ones that I'm using. I think all of them are from Etsy, just various different sellers. They were all great. They all had great customer service. I had some issues with some of them on like how to take the candle out of the mold and they all just like replied within 24 hours. Definitely recommend getting candle molds on Etsy. Oh, I'm so happy with how this came out. Like, so happy. <laughs> until I take them out of molds but I'm going to wait overnight for these to set just to make sure everything's perfect. The pop-up doesn't actually begin until 1 p.m. tomorrow so I have a ton of time in the morning if I want to you know make any last minute things but for tonight I just want to make sure all the apparel has all the tags on them. I want to put all the prices on them because the last pop-up in Hoboken I didn't put the price on anything. I was like I'll just write them in last minute but as you might remember it was super cold and i couldn't feel my hands so i wasn't able to write anything down it shouldn't be too cold tomorrow but i i get anxiety thinking about the fact that i didn't put prices on things last time i am taking an uber there because i don't have a car from my mom just because she's been helping me with a lot of pop-ups and i this one's like a smaller one so i didn't want to make her come all the way up here just for like a small little pop-up Alright guys, I'm all packed up, I'm ready and all dressed. This time I wore my thickest turtleneck. <laughs> it's actually 45-ish degrees outside, which is totally not bad at all compared to last time. Uh, but I thought I would bundle up just to be safe. The last thing I need to grab is my little earring turny thing. It's 11.37, I have like 25 minutes. So here's the struggle. I'm taking an Uber. <laughs> so I need to fit this entire garment rack into the Uber and hopefully they don't get upset about that. I have these two bags, which isn't too big of a deal. And I also have this wagon. <laughs> it unfolds and I'm going to unfold it when I get downstairs and put all of my stuff into there just so I can transport it down the street where the Uber will pick up. I also have my backpack that has my cash box and like fragile items. This box is filled with my candles and I have this little earring, Lazy Susan. All right, that's pretty much it. I think this is the most I've ever consolidated. In all of my previous pop-ups, I didn't pack properly. I didn't have any bins. I didn't have that wagon that you saw. I basically just had those crates that I use for decor 
and they're not the most sturdy crates of all time and they're kind of small so it was hard to bring a lot of things in at once so we had to take a lot of trips from my apartment to the car from the car to wherever my booth setup was it would take too much time so i tried to consolidate everything into those tote bags as well as get that wagon so it's easy to transport things i'm excited i feel like this one has a lot of potential i've never done this actual market before the person who was running this market or this little pop-up event she reached out to me on instagram because she saw that i was part of artisan markets from last time and it was under the viaduct that's a really popular pop-up market so she saw that i did that through social media and she offered me a spot in this pop-up so that was very nice of her to reach out Okay, here's my little corner. I actually got the actual corner of this little section, which is nice. All my stuff's in here, I Ubered. It was quite the experience. It was kind of fun and my Uber driver was really nice. So I'm going to unpack everything now and make it look all pretty. I come here all the time, but this is focusing. I really hope it's focusing because it's a beautiful view. The sun is out. The views are good. This is like a common area where people will like walk down. So there's like this little archway and that's the Hoboken Museum itself. So people come through here all the time. So far the market didn't even open yet. And yeah, I already sold, oh, three different things. Two candles and a pair of earrings. This is already more successful. All right, as always, I was not recording. I got this free matcha because the owner of this market just like gets it you. It's really cool. They um, they added like a roast sweetener to it. So it tastes really good. It's really hitting the spot because it did get kind of cold. I put my jacket on and my hat. Definitely not as cold as last time, but we also have some sun right here. Like there's the sun and then I'll walk out just to get warm a little bit <laughs> because it's like kind of cool here in the shade. Like all of this is just blocking the sun which is nice, but also it gets kind of old. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. 